Hello, my name is is Katja and today I will be talking about stuttering, slow processing, and quietness in the classroom. There is a common perception in school that quiet students are not engaged, not paying attention, or even not respecting the, the teachers. However, this perception is, is not always it's not always true. We all have different speeds of, of, of thinking. There are students who are attentive and have hidden capabilities but are, but are afraid to, 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 to show them. In my case, it, it, is, my, it is my stuttering and, and slower mental processing that delays my expression of, of thoughts and ideas. I am like other students, but it simply takes me a, a bit longer to express my thoughts and ideas. As a student who is a slow processor and also stutters, I have faced many challenges throughout my academic life that relate to my, uh, uh, that relate to my ability to be able to express my thoughts and ideas. For example, despite my, my, my stutter, I am the, the type of person who likes to observe, listen, and, and to talk. But most of the time, I am quiet in, in class this discussions. It is one of the aspects of daily classes that I'm always nervous about because I know from the start that it will take me a lot of time to, to, to participate. Sometimes the pressure to participate becomes multiplied when the students are moving the discussion onto the next logical point while I'm still trying to figure out how to jump in onto the current point. It is challenging for me because everything is, is moving so fast and my brain doesn't always have enough time to, to keep up. And even when I finally come up with a contribution, it, it becomes a battle between the anxiety and the self-talk re required to, to, to remind myself to, 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 to slow down so, so that my stutter doesn't come out so, so choppy. But yet, the, the harder it is I, I try to push myself to, to participate, the, the, the harder it is for me, the harder it is for me to, to think. It's, it's a terrible and, and suffocating feeling, and my stutter makes it worse because every time I try to talk, the words always get, get stuck in, in my throat. It is a challenge upon challenge upon challenge. I, 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 I always feel pressured and uncomfortable in, in class dis discussions because I feel the eyes of my classmates and, and sometimes my, my teacher staring through me as if I'm not thinking about the, about the discussion. But in fact, I am. I'm just afraid and a little slow because of my stutter and slower mental processing. Now, I'm going to talk about the, the situation at school. At school, the default assumption is that good students think fast. But there are probably others who, who are in the same or similar situation as me. However, since, since the default assumption is that good students think fast, then am I not a good student? Although it is important to push a student out of their comfort zone, it is also important to understand whether that push may help or or, or prevent them from, from making progress. It, it, it's important for teachers to be patient and, and aware with students so they don't feel voiceless and, and simple-minded. According to an article written by Stephen M. Budnick, understanding the role of slow processing speed is essential. When gifted students with, with, with slow processing speed issues are overlooked, incorrectly diagnosed, or taught incorrectly, they may experience feelings such as discouragement, low self-esteem, or anxiety, and it could impact their ability to, to engage in, in, in learning. But if these students are understood and properly addressed, they can become remarkable individuals who, who, who excel in 
in, in ex, ex, extraordinary ways. So the question is, how do we, both students and teachers, constructively address these issues? Well, I can confirm that the advice of a thousand, you can do it, catch us, it, it, it's not a, a, adequate. Having, having a customized enabling in environment and systematic support from the school is, is the key. In, in my case, given my, given my double barriers, a combination of, of, of speech therapy, routine check-ins, and high awareness among teachers have all helped help me cope with these, with these situations. Okay. For example, one of the things that have helped me in in class this this discussion is is to is to ask is to is for the teachers to to send the to send the the questions to me beforehand. This is because sometimes it's difficult for me to answer questions without having thought about it beforehand. Uh, another thing that have also helped me in class this in class this in class this discussion is for me to start the. The, the discussion first. In this case, I can release the, the, the pressure in my chest and, and share my thoughts and, and ideas first. Among other things, working in a quiet and enclosed in, in environment and having extra time have also helped me cope with these, with these situations and, and also in, in, in my learning. But if you have a student or, or, or students who may face similar challenges, one of the best things to do is to just ask. Be aware, get, get to know your, your students. Because just a simple awareness coming from a teacher could do wonders for a single student. Students like me deserve not to be overlooked. I'm, I'm lucky because I have the, the support that I need. But there are probably others who, who, who may go undiagnosed, who are ignored because they are quiet, or whose school officials may, may simply don't care. That's a tragedy. Because I'm here to say that the kind of learning environment that students can experience when there is care can be in, incredible. Thank you.